So let's show how does the uh, function uh, acts. So for example, this is what happens if we specify the number of groups or clusters to be 128. In this scenario, the output of the image we denote by IMG128, the display picture still looked like a pandas, but we will see subtle difference from the original picture. In particular, we see the background color, the green color actually is not as vivid as before. In fact, many different colors are lumped together into the same color under the current scheme. In exchange, we get a, a, a picture with the worst quality, but it takes much less space to store this picture than before. So in the next few slides, we are going to see when we reduce the number of clusters, what effect do you have on the image? If you change the number of clusters to 16 and run the same algorithm using our predefined function, we find that the, we still see the same pandas as before, and this panda is still eating bamboo, but the background color changed drastically into an oil painting style. Then a big chunk of color originally in the original picture represent different color now are lumped together into single color. Finally, when we change the number of nucleus, uh, the num number of cluster into four, and yes, this picture become basically a black and white, or is more accurate, green, black, and white picture. And all the background color are basically a single color green. So this tells us the effects of the clustering used in the context of image compression. So we can use this to complex the data and reduce the storage requirement on the image. And that's why I want to show you today in today's lecture. Okay. Yeah, but I don't see any questions. Is each sample a pixel on the image? And somebody asked the question that uh, each, each piece of uh, sample on the image uh, sorry, sorry, I need to clarify. And is each sample a pixel on the image? And the answer is yes. And uh, in this rectangular uh, picture, and bit by bit, you will see a lot of dots if you use a microscope. And each dot actually is usually called a pixel. And the so-called colored pixels are represented by four different numbers. And the combination of three primary colors and also an alpha, the transparency. And uh, that's what we mean a pixel. And this is actually what we mean a sample points. Somebody asks, in the final function call, there are four clusters, but only four colors. Where is the fourth color? Sorry, three color, I mean. Uh, I was, so in this situation, and uh, I think in terms of naked eye, you only probably only see three, but uh, there are four colors uh, shown. In order to see what these four colors represent, you will need to analyze the data frame, which I'll put from here. And because almost all the colors are duplicates, so you can use the uh, drop duplicate function of the pandas to find out what these four color combination to present. But sometimes it's not particular appearance from visualization point of view. Yes, because the you will need to, somebody asked about, is that the transparency? And the answer is, you will need to dig in to the data frame and the drop the duplicates, and you will see numerically what these four different colors represent. So the students suggest it's likely due to the transparency, which is not particularly visible from the picture itself. 